All right, hi everybody. Welcome back to My Story Part 16. Now, the last time uh, we did a story, I talked about how I did five contests, I believe it was, in six weeks. Toronto, Texas, Alaska, Chicago, North Carolina. Yeah, five shows. Um, the following year, I decided to do the open class. I just wanted to see what would happen if I didn't have to make weight because I certainly felt like my better look was at a higher body weight than 212. And from all the pictures I've shown you through these past videos, I think you can see that's the case. So I wanted to try my hand and um, it was a very, very busy time for me. About September of the previous year before, I had uh, decided somewhere around that time frame to start my own supplement company. And I remember we were putting together the formulas and I was trying to get a graphic artist. And um, it was my first real kind of business venture where I had to use a lot of other people uh, in terms of the business since I had left the corporate world. So I had left the corporate world a lot earlier, obviously, but I didn't really depend too much on other people. So starting this new company put me back in a position where I had to depend on other people. And it was like when I think back to that year, late in that year, it was really challenging. It was really eye-opening for me from a business perspective. We had a graphic artist who kind of worked on his own timetable and would never give me times or dates for um, the graphics we were looking for and things like that. And I remember something that would take a week, would take uh, a month. It was very frustrating and I remember thinking, is this the way the world is outside the corporate world? I'm like, man, this is like, you get fired for this in the corporate world. I remember a lot of challenges um, starting the business. I remember, you know, lawyers telling me I needed to have all these things on the labels and all these, having all that stuff done correctly, which is true. And um, it was a lot of work. And so we ended up, we wanted to start on, uh, in November, actually around Black Friday, but we actually didn't start till January of the following year. And we did our product launch at uh, Natural Body in, in New York uh, with my good friend Steve Calabrese and Tim Gritzman. That's where we launched our actual Granite Southmost business. It was a phenomenal launch party and um, what I was doing at the time when I was prepping for these pro shows, which were coming up in May, by the way. So in, in, when once we launched officially in January and February, March, April, I was calling stores in the mornings on the East Coast. You know, hey, this is John Meadows. I was wondering if you would carry my supplements. Here's what we're all about. And then I would go train. Then I would call stores on the West Coast in the evening. And hey, this is John Meadows. Um, and so forth. So I was like the only sales rep. I was selling uh, our products myself to all the stores and so it was a very, very business uh, oriented time. It was a lot of hours from the time I got up till the time I went to bed trying to get the new business off the ground running and it is very challenging to get a, a supplement business off the ground and running if you're going to kind of structure it as a bigger business. If you're just going to make a pre-workout and sell it out of your basement, I mean that's pretty easy to do but to actually have a lot of SKUs or products and to try to do it in a little bigger way is, is a very challenging undertaking. So I was doing that and I was preparing for the California Pro. That was a show that I always wanted to do. I don't know why, I just always wanted to do the California Pro. And I remember walking into the auditorium, seeing my name on the little banner that was on the, I mean, probably most, most people didn't even think anything about that, but I thought it was really cool. Like there was my name on the banner as a competitor. So we did the California Pro. Uh, my friend and client Josh Wade was with me. This was really cool. So those of you who've been following know that Josh has continued to place well and move up in the rankings and he just did the Mr. Olympia last month. So Josh was there. Josh took sixth place, I believe, and it was a very disputed sixth place. He would never say that, but he was much better than sixth. And I finished out the top 10, but it was a, it was a great experience. I really wanted to do that show. I felt like I looked really good. I was probably 222, 223. And then there was another show. Uh, I don't know if it was a week afterwards or two weeks afterwards. I think maybe it was two weeks. 
that Chad Nichols was promoting in Missouri. Now, Chad and I, um, we don't talk a lot, but I've always had very good exchanges with Chad. He's a very good guy. The exchanges have been very positive. So I was very happy to do his contest. And to me, he's, uh, he was the promoter of all the shows I've done. Chad is the promoter that I feel like cared the most about the athletes. He did all kinds of stuff for us. I mean, everything from the stage lighting. I mean, I'm going to put a picture up of this photo and look how crazy the lighting is. You look freaky, right? See how freaky I look? But the lighting was really good. And it used to be the lighting was good in a few of the shows, but nowadays the lighting is, I, I don't, I don't think it's very good in most of the shows. I mean, you can be at a show and you can see how great people look, and then when you see the pictures online, nobody looks like they're in condition. When you're there, you know they are. So Chad had great lighting. He had all kinds of food for us and things, and he gave us a big gym bag full of gifts, and he gave, did some things for my kids um, who were there with me um, as well that just made it feel like a very special trip. So um, Chad did a phenomenal job. I, so I competed in his show, The Muscle Mayhem Pro, and um, uh, was very, very happy to do that show. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't make the first call out. I didn't place, but that was okay. It was, a, it was a very good show. I think I was probably 223-ish, probably still at that same body weight, which I think was probably about the right body weight for me. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of had that out of my system that I wanted to do an open show. So I called it a year, I did those two shows, and then I kind of went back to focusing on my business, not only Grana, but the Mountain Dog business, uh, building programs for you all that I'm sure you're aware of, and my member website and stuff like that. So um, that's what happened after I did all those two 12 shows. I came back, I did two open shows, and those were actually the last shows I've, I did, and those were last year. I have not competed this year, and here we are in October, so you can probably figure out I'm sitting this year out, focusing more on doing stuff like this for you. So that's it for installment number 16. Um, let's see where installment 17 goes, and um, it might surprise you. We'll see. But thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.